That's right, the bow tie. Even though real bow ties aren't as symmetrical as the fake ones that you can clip on, nothing beats the feeling of finishing a dance drama or a showcase and just going, I did it. All right guys, let's get started with this. Step one, go ahead and take the right side and make it longer than your left side. Once you do that, you're gonna go ahead and cross it in front, right where your button is, and then go ahead and take it, just knot it, and you're gonna take that right side and go ahead and put it over your left shoulder. Yeah, just leave it there like a parrot for a second. Ah, who's a pretty boy then? Now, if you notice again, the knot should be right where your button is. That's how you know you're in a good place to start. Step two, take the remaining bottom side, pinch the thick part right here, and you're gonna pull it on over like so. Notice it's bending, and it's creating a little layer right there. Now. It should look like a two-dimensional bow tie right now at this point. You're gonna put that little thin side right over the knot that you created earlier. Yes, and just leave it flat like this. Now take your parrot side right uh -huh. here, and you're gonna put, go ahead and just cross it over in front. I'm gonna be using a couple animals today, All right? You ready for step three if it's looking a little bit like an elephant at this moment, yes? So step three, what you're gonna go ahead and do is take this top part and you're just gonna pinch the two flaps together like this, like a sandwich almost. You still have this dangly thing right here, all right? So that's just step three is just pinching those two. Hold on to them tight for a second. For step four, if you notice, there's a little hole right here that I created when I pinched. That's where your bow tie is gonna be coming through in a second, yes? So take this remaining bottom part you're gonna go ahead and take the thick side and slowly start to squeeze it through that hole. Now, be very careful to not put it all the way through, because if you do, then you're gonna unravel and you have to start the whole thing over again. Yeah, so now at this point, I have the crude makings of my bow tie right there, if you can see. Now, I know it's not perfect yet, it will be in a second. I'm just gonna go ahead and adjust the little middle part. And in order to give the bow tie shape, I'm gonna go ahead and take the little loopy side of each one and just slowly start to pull them away. Now again, make sure that it doesn't go through the middle at any point, because otherwise you have to start the whole process over again. Bit by bit, by pulling these and then pulling up the little flaps, it's gonna slowly get tighter and tighter. Yes, and bit by bit, you're gonna start to see the shape of your bow tie happen. Now, of course, you're gonna have to like make little adjustments here or there. It's not gonna be perfect but everyone's gonna know that you tied it. And there you have it. Here is your bow tie. You are officially cocktail and dancer am ready. <sighs> I did it. I had so much fun teaching you guys. I can't wait to see you back out on the dance floor and have a fabulous rest of Metal Ball. Bye guys.